What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a green screen effect to your Camtasia videos. If you don't know how to record using Camtasia, check out my video link up above. That is the previous video we did. That being said, let's get straight into it. So a green screen effect is something that looks like this. As you can see here in this video, if I zoom in, you will see that my, you know, my webcam doesn't have anything in the background, even though I can assure you that I'm not working in a transparent backspace, okay? So there is something behind me called a green screen stand, okay? So you do have to invest some money. It can get expensive, $150 plus for a set. So you have to buy that first. So you can't do a green screen without having the proper set, without having a green background, okay? Now, why is it green? Does it have to be green? Yes and no. So it's green because green is the most neutral color that doesn't match any skin color, okay? The idea behind a green screen is that you add the same consistent color in the background, okay? You add a color in the background um, and then you remove anything in the background with that color. And so if it's consistent, or in this case it's green and it doesn't match any color anywhere else, like on my skin, I'm not green, I'm not an orc, if it doesn't match that, then um, you can remove that background, right? And so that's the idea of green screen. Again, why green? Because it's the most neutral color. Can you use red? Yeah, but it might touch a little bit of your face if, if you have some red marks somewhere on your face and the colors match, right? You get the idea. Um, so that's that. I think that's enough for the introduction. So here we have one of my older videos that I did. Let's add this. Um, this uh, screen recording here. And as you can see here, we have the green in the background, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is let's make this a bit bigger so we can play around with it. Now, there are a few things you do ideally want to do when it comes to green screen. One is you wanna make sure the shadow is consistent on your entire green screen background. As you can see over here, the color is pretty consistent. There is no light green, dark green, you know, uh, whatever other colors of green there are, they're pretty much consistent. It's pretty much the same color of green. That's one thing you want to do. The second thing you want to do with the green screen is make sure there are no kinks in the um, in this background, right? So over here, as you can see, let me maybe zoom in a bit more to show you. As you can see here, it's not really ironed out, right? So I have these little uh, imperfections here. They are not ironed out. You do want to ideally iron them out so it is consistent. Why do you need to do that? Because if it's not ironed out, as you can see, there is a little darker green here, right? So what we're gonna do, let me, let, let me show you what that looks like. We go to visual effects and we're gonna click remove a color because the idea is to remove this green screen. And this is that, uh, clip that has my webcam. So I'm gonna drag this and drop it here. And now we can select the color. So as I take this color picker, okay, oops, let's undo that. We're gonna take this color picker here so we can remove the color and observe the colors of the green here, right? So here's what I'm talking about. Ideally, we want the exact same numbers throughout the entire green screen, right? We don't have that, it's not perfect. Will it still work? Yes. But the closer you get into perfection, the easier of a time you're gonna get creating a green screen. So over here, as you can see, this is darker green, right? Over here, it's darker, so it's not ideal. But what you're gonna do is select that icon picker and click, and boom, everything is gone. Now you still see there is a little bit of green on the sides, and that part of the reason is because we didn't um, do the two things I just mentioned. One, add a consistent color, and two, iron out all the kinks in that background. But that's okay. If that happens to you, you can play around with the tolerance, okay? So if sometimes you get, you know, splotches of green in your video, don't worry. It doesn't mean you didn't set it up correctly. You can play around with this tolerance here. You can play around with the other options, but the one I changed the most was this tolerance. So you can either use the up and down arrows on your keyboard, or you can just enter a value. I like to play with the up and down arrows because it gives me the most incremental smallest changes. So I'm gonna click up here, up, 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 up. And as you can see, the green is slowly disappearing. Now you don't wanna go too far out because it's gonna start taking 
the rest of you out as well, right? So we can keep going. This looks right about good, okay? So 29, 30%, you can hardly see the green, especially if you zoom out, right? Nobody is gonna be staring at you that intensely. I don't know, unless maybe some of you guys are, but you really can't see, okay? So there might be a tiny tad bit of green like over here, but you really don't see that. So this is pretty good. Now, if you just go too far, let me show you. See, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna take everything away because now the tolerance is increasing, right? Uh, so it's, it's reducing kind of the filter between the green and the other colors. So you wanna pick your magic number. For me, it's usually between 28 to 32% for my videos. And when I get that number, uh, you know, all the green disappears. But again, it's also gonna matter on how well you set up your green screen behind you. And that is it, that's the idea of a green screen. You add some color, ideally green, because it doesn't match any skin tone, any skin color, but it can be any color really. You put it in the background and you remove that color, okay? So if you might be thinking, oh, well, instead of spending 150 bucks on a green screen, I'm just gonna get a white wall behind me, right? Because most walls are, are white or whatever. Um, the skin color or the color of your like sweater hoodie may match. Okay, so keep in mind it might not work. That's why green screen is ideal. But if you can pick a color that is completely different from what you're wearing from your skin color, then that can work as well. But that is it. That's how you do a green screen. As you can see here, um, as we move past, this is pretty consistent. I'm not seeing any green here anywhere at all. So what you wanna do after you add the green screen is actually test it out, okay? And just skim through like I'm doing here, skim through the entire video to make sure there is no green in between. Sometimes it will show up. That is it, after you do that, you know, same thing we did in the previous video, share, local file, select your file, uh, export it, and that's it. That is what it's gonna look like. That is how you record Camtasia with a green screen. If you enjoyed this video, you will like my Unbounce playlist, which teaches you how to create landing pages and websites with Unbounce, and my Google Ads playlist, which can teach you how to send traffic to that landing page. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.